Hey, welcome back to the channel, man. I got some breaking news. I just heard from my sources in Atlanta, and they're tr telling me that the rapper Trouble has passed away, man. Condolences to the family, man. Rest in peace to Trouble. This is shocking news coming out early in the morning, man. He was basically hit up sitting in his car. Um, people have ran up on him and fired into the vehicle where he was sitting down and tragically basically ended his life and purged him um it's a lot a lot of stuff going around about how and where like you know how he got set up man everybody knows that troubles from edgewood and he be rocking with you know a lot of people from two different sides man the ysl side he was in um, Edgewood, like I said, with all of the Young Thug people on YSL, like, for real, man, he even said B.I.P. Nut, and, and on the other hand, he's on Key to, Keys to the Streets, hanging out with YFN Lucci, and all this, man, and you gotta see the troubling signs, man, his last tweet ever, he tweeted that is so many 12 out here, that he's gonna call it an early night and go home, and he tells everybody to stay smooth. But then, three to four hours after that last tweet at midnight, Sunday morning, he ends up in a vehicle. If he says he was going in for the night and he and he was calling it a night, how was it three to four hours later when you would think he would be asleep that he's in a car somewhere getting hit up? Who called him? Who tried to tell him to go somewhere? Who was he seeing at that time, man? And a lot of stuff about the people who reported his passing goes to show. The very, very first person that reported that he passed was his ex-girlfriend. Not current girlfriend, not future wife. His ex-girlfriend. If you have an ex-girlfriend, how the heck does she know if you passed away and is the first to report it? Especially when you said that you were going home early that night and because it was too many 12 out there, man. That goes to show they were preparing for him to get hit wherever he was, whatever club he was at. Because... These 12, they know this YSL case is going on, YSL versus YFN. And if anybody gets any statements from trouble, that's going to put both sides at jeopardy, man. They have to take care, take out the guy who played. He didn't really play both sides, but he was like, he really had people on both sides that he talked to consistently. So that's the guy that knows the most of about each, man. And... Man, who knows what trouble knew, man. He he might have he might have not knew anything and this could have been random, but I, I refuse to believe that, man, because trouble is too much connected to Young Thug, way too much connected to YFN Lucci for him to just get hit up after he says he's gonna go home and call it a night and it's too too, too many twelves and tells everybody to be safe. Trouble knew what was about to happen. And so did the 12. That's why there were so many of them that he kept saying because they were getting ready for shots to ring out and have him be the one hit and quickly take over the scene, right? But Trouble ended up doing the abnormal and going home early. So when he went home early, they had to have somebody to call him to get him out of bed like an ex-girlfriend who says, hey, you know, you can crack one more time. Da 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 da, come scoop me. We need to get the magnums from the gas station. Next thing you know, he gets hit up. This has backdoor written all over it, man. From his own camp, bro, from his own inner circle of ex girlfriends, cousins, and whatnot, man. Because that's just strange to me. The first person to report him passing is his ex girlfriend. Well, how does she hear about it? Who called her? Was she there? Exactly. So she had to have been there. So now it's safe to say like 
allegedly he could or could not he could have might been with the his ex-girlfriend who probably dropped the low on him or they realized the fact that trouble was going home and that everybody was still out partying in the club so they knew trouble was going to be home alone and they dropped the low and found the way to 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 get him they probably took him out the house and put him in a car and then off them at a at a different location just to make it seem like he was out and about or something and then got hit up like riding through traffic i just want to know man early in the morning as that happened and you tell everybody on twitter that you're going home and calling it what are you doing Par in your car, sitting in your car, man. I don't think Trouble fell asleep in his car. He's not moving sloppy like that. I really think Trouble probably made it home uh, because it's not going to take him three to four hours to get home from the time where he tweeted to the time the news broke out is a, is a, a few hours. So he definitely had made it home, I think. And something else had either caused him to get out of the house or somebody came to his house and forcibly removed him from his house. And it was from that point where he ended up at a third party location in a vehicle where he allegedly at this time, they're not saying who was with him and who wasn't with him. But I refuse to believe he was alone because why would he hop out in traffic alone knowing how safe he has to be moving around when he already was on that type of time trying to tell us in the Twitter that you should be moving smooth. It's too many 12. Seem like something's going to happen. If you could extend the tweet into really explaining the, the thoughts going through his head at that time, it would go something more like it's too many 12 out here. I'm going home. Y'all stay safe. Seems like something's about to happen down here. You know how everything going around. I got this weird feeling. That's probably what was going through his mind. So he decided at that moment to call it a night. And the people, his aunt, whoever he came with, they were probably planning to set him up right then and there in the club or whatever outside the club. So they had to quickly scramble to think of like, what's the next plan? So they said, okay, nobody go back to Trouble's house uh, because now it's plan B. We're going to have to send the the, the goons, the hitmen. They're going to have to send the hitmen to Trouble's house so that it looked like, you know, something happened there. But it's, they can't make it seem like, you know, an obvious setup and have the dudes just get him right there in the house and do do it there. They they take him and they take him around to the ATMs, have him have him withdraw all his money, get the cashier's checks. And then at a random place, they make it seem like he got robbed somewhere. or He was in a neighborhood he wasn't supposed to be in. And that's it. And man, this is wild. This is super crazy, too. Like the car he was in, too. It's man, like. Not a lot of people know Trouble's car, so somebody had to put them on to what kind of car he was in. There's no way that they they just randomly happen to be walking down the street. They see their op Trouble, and then they go crazy. No, this was a set plan thing. They came to do the job, and that's basically what it is, man. So I want you guys to comment down below what you think. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Do you agree or disagree, man? Rest in peace to Trouble. Uh, condolences to the family, man. And put RIP Trouble down in the comments, man.